Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're gonna be doing some decorating and redecorating around the lake house. There are some areas around the house that I haven't finished off and some areas that just need some reworking and I'd love to give it a little bit of a refresh. So today we're gonna be doing that inside and a bit outside. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can decorate various areas around your home. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's start out right here in the front entryway. I wanna give this space a little bit of a refresh and restyle it. This was one of the first spaces that I transformed when we moved in. I painted the door, I transformed the calyx piece into this great storage piece, which I absolutely still love. But the gallery wall on top, is a little bit messy looking now, things are kind of crooked, and I wanna simplify and really do a little bit of a cleaner style. We do have quite a few gallery walls on this floor already, so I want to simplify what you see as soon as you walk through the door and actually make this space look a little less cluttered and larger. So I'm removing all of the frames and keeping them for future projects and taking off all of the styling decor so we can start from scratch. I recently found this large art piece that I absolutely love. The colors, the style, it's exactly what the rest of my home looks like. So I think it's a great first impression when you walk through the door. It matches the door color and all the colors that I usually decorate with. So I think it's the perfect find. I always use the painter's tape trick to hang any art piece. This is where you use a piece of painter's tape to mark where the hooks are on the back of your frame. Use that piece of tape and put it on the wall to mark exactly where your hook should be and you can hang art quickly and easily and perfectly every single time. I think this one large piece ties together the home really nicely and just works with the scale and the size of this space. So I think it really helps clean up the look of everything. I'm replacing my lamp because I absolutely love having a dimmable lamp in my front entryway, styling this new thrifted tray that I recently got, which is perfect for an entryway to kind of collect your little thing it also helps tie together the black handles on the cabinet. So it's all about really working all those small details in to tie a space together. And then over here on this side, I want something large and sprawling. So I'm using this really pretty vase that I already had and styling these new stems inside of them that are really gonna sprawl out in different directions. I love oversized stems and florals that really make an impact. And this is the easiest way to do it. Now having the sprawling branches and the light filtering on either side of this piece really helps to create balance. I'm finishing it off with a nice smelling candle and a little canister to hide all of the small things. I've also been meaning to refresh the front entryway on the outside because I still have some of my Christmas accessories out here. So I wanna swap it out and do a little summer refresh out here so we can make a nice first impression and also connect the indoor and the outdoor space. I went on the Walmart app to find all of the pieces that I wanna use to refresh this outdoor space. You can go on walmart.com or the Walmart app to find all of your favorite products at the touch of a button. It's so easy to shop and find exactly what you're looking for. I love quick deliveries and all of my Walmart pieces delivered within a couple days so I could get this done really quickly. Definitely check out their Outdoor Oasis page on walmart.com to find all of the latest summer products. They have all of the best styles and on-trend pieces at an affordable price. They carry some of my favorite brands like New Loom. I always get New Loom rugs for my outdoor space. They're just super durable. I found this elegant entryway doormat, which is perfect. It looks like wrought iron, but it's actually rubber. It's super durable and flexible. So I'm layering it on top of the New Loom braided rug just to add some extra durability and it lines up perfectly with the door. So that's also another detail to consider when you're doing doormats make sure that they're larger than your door or completely in line with your door size. And then bringing in some height with these very tall planters. 
These are gorgeous. The style of them is classic but modern and ties together the black accents and just makes this look dynamic. So I'm bringing in that height to frame the door and these are great because they have those risers inside so they help elevate your plant. But I'm actually using these outdoor UV resistant artificial plants. These can just be dropped inside of a planter so they're very easy and for an entryway like this that has a full roof covering it, it doesn't get any sunshine so this is really the only way to bring some color and life to this outdoor space. So with just a few little changes, this outdoor front entryway looks so much more refreshed and ready for summer. It's inviting, it's welcoming, and it definitely ties together the entire house now. I'll have all of these products linked down below in the description box so you guys can shop them on Walmart as well. Now let's head back inside to the corner of my living room and dining room that is not complete. This back corner where the fireplace is has been awkwardly empty and incomplete for a while now. This is the corner where my large Christmas tree is during the holidays, but once that's taken down, it tends to look really empty over here. So last year I hung this gallery wall right after I took the Christmas tree down, and now we have this big opening emptiness above the fireplace. I always imagined having a mirror above the fireplace, so I recently found this rounded rectangular mirror. I like that it's a mix of an arch and a rectangle so that it really can span the size of this fireplace nicely. I think mirrors are such a great thing to have above a fireplace because they're simple, they reflect light, they kind of showcase the decor around the room, and you can introduce new shapes this way. I love this shape, it really works with the fireplace and all of the other details around the space. This is always a tricky corner because things aren't really centered on this wall, but I think it could use some pretty sconces to frame out the fireplace. It's kind of that corner of the space that I don't know if it will ever be fully finished, but but it is a work in progress. Now let's make our way down to the dining table because I wanna style some new decor on the big table. When styling a long surface like this, it's easy to start with a simple tray. This is what's gonna ground all of your decor. I'm bringing in this gorgeous vase that looks antique, but it's actually brand new. It is beautiful. It has all of the right colors that I use to decorate. When decorating a room that has this much height and large furniture, you need to go large with the decor. So this vase is perfect and adding in a tall stem that can really sprawl in a wider direction helps with that height as well. I'm finishing off this tray with small decor and a candle just to tie it all together. And lastly, let's make our way upstairs because this hallway is another forgotten space in my home. I've always wanted artwork across this wall just to tie together the upstairs with the downstairs. Since it's all open, I'm finding art pieces and frames that really work with the entire home design. So I downloaded some digital art. This is usually how I get a lot of my antique art pieces and framing them in 18 by 24 frames. The three prints are all completely different, different styles, but they just tie together all of the elements and colors around my home. Prints like this can make such a big difference and really help tie together multiple spaces around the house. So these frames match the floors, the colors match every single space, and the style is just perfect. So I have a landscape, a little sketch, and even a tapestry. Now the entire house feels refreshed. We finished off certain areas around the house, inside and outside, and it just feels ready for summer. 
All right, so that's it for today's decorating. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can decorate these various areas around your home. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these decorating tricks would you definitely use in your space. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.